Art and augmented reality, are they friends or foes? Navigation is getting more advanced and now you can find your way easier. All this in our fourth episode of Weekly Dose of AR. Stay tuned. Art and AR can be mutually beneficial and create a new form of self-expression. Portraits, landscapes and even murals can be alive with the help of augmented reality. AR can tell a story that stands behind that picture and even make it more immersive and entertaining if you add, for example, a little bit of animation and sound. It can be even a new way of art. Artists and designers have always used the most advanced technology of their day and AR is ideal canvas that provides artists with full creative freedom. There is one of the world's first augmented reality mural in downtown Raleigh, North Carolina, that has a lot of different layers and can be seen via Android app. The mural is sponsored by Google to, ma to mark Raleigh as a fiber city. And the artist in the interview said that the process was a bit complicated because she needed to paint the mural first and then make everything match in the app. Anyway, this partnership was a successful one and gave a lot of new creative ideas to other cities and soon we hope to see more masterpieces in different locations in tandem with new technologies all around the world. If navigating in a new city or even your own one causes troubles and you end up not in the place you want it to be, it's high time to rethink the usage of your navigator and probably to switch to a more visual one like Google's augmented reality map. However, it's not open for a public. Some people managed to test it and mentioned that this app really helps you out at complicated intersections. Well, let's see how it works. You need to open your map, place your phone in front of your eyes, and the arrows will show you the way and will navigate you. It's like in the arcade. But watch out, the phone will switch to a traditional map view if you put it down. When you scan the outside space around you, with your cell phone, the camera understands where exactly you are and starts the navigating process. If you enter a 2D map mode and need AR Navigator back, just rescan the space and the map will continue telling you the right way. Developers are still working on the app trying to make it work properly and we at Arcona are looking forward to testing it as we travel a lot and getting around the city on foot in the new place can be a bit tricky. Well, for me it's always tricky. I wanted to be a geographer. But when I let a group of people in the wrong direction in my home city, I understood that geography will never happen to me. But that's another story. February is bringing more positive vibes as the winter is nearly over. Well, in New York City it has just started and it was over in a couple of hours. And the spring is in the air. It's time for the most romantic holiday, which is Valentine's Day. People are lining in the shopping malls to find the best gifts for their loved ones, and the Arcona team is in that romantic mode too. Here is our special raffle devoted to Valentine's Day. We represent to your attention 30 wonderful land plots in Paris, the capital of Romans. This promo is only limited to two days. February 13th and 14th. So, if you are also celebrating women's friendship on Valentine's Day and you are into tech and, uh, and augmented reality, you can also take part. Moreover, every third land plot is lucky as it will go with one more asset in Paris for free. The raffle is all random, as usual. Check what's up on at the Arcona Marketplace and win a beautiful gift for your Valentine or for your loved self. Thanks for watching and may AR be with you.